Let's have a look how we can work with the location or the places feature in a Photos Library. So depending on the settings of your camera or your phone, the coordinates of a capture location is already embedded in the photo and comes in with the photo as you import it to the photo library. Whether that's through a manual import or through the iCloud, it's the same. So then you don't have to do anything. However, if the location is not embedded already, you can add it manually. We can double check whether it's already there by selecting a photo, Command I, so we can see the info window. As we can see, there's no location assigned to this photo. So if you click into that field and you start typing, this was the enchanted maze, here we go, it comes up with a list of suggestions. This only works when you connect it to the internet, then it works with Google Maps and it will bring out the address. So all I have to do, I select that and now it adds this map as well. You can make that bigger and smaller. You can actually also move the pin. Sometimes that can come in quite handy. If you have approximate location and then you move it to the exact one. And you can see how it's changed the address now. Let's assume you've got a whole batch. So you simply select the ones you need. Command I. And again, you assign the location. Maze, here we go. We'll add it. You can close that, and when you then look at the photo, Command I, it has added that information. If you don't want to have it for whatever reason, what you can then do, it doesn't disappear if you select that and delete. It will still, when you then look, it's still here. See? So that's the active photo. It's still here. What you have to do is image, location, reboot to original, which was empty in this case, and now it's gone. The others still have it because I have only selected that one. Now, when you go to that album places, you can actually move around on the map and see where you've got photos. You can make that smaller and bigger. So you see we've got New Zealand here, some in Australia, up in, in Asia and Europe. And as you click into that, it will open them by places. There we go. So I've got all these places saved and I go back. If I move back to here and now I see that there's 45 photos now. If I make the map bigger, you will see that this is going to move. So now it's separated the 45 and it gives me the more detailed location. And that moves the bigger I go here. There we go. And then when you click in an album from here, that's when you can see where it is. That's the ones we just did before.